Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also, most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. All right, we're getting right to it. Many shows wouldn't do this, but we about to show some love to the Detroit Pistons. Yes. And I know what you're thinking. Detroit Pistons? Ain't they at the bottom of the, of, of the standings? But they're balling. They are a thorn in the side of most good teams. They're always in it. And you mentioned the standings. Mm-hmm. In the Eastern Conference, they're only four games out of the eighth spot. Yeah. So they're right there mm-hmm. with plenty of ball to play, man. And so far, when you've seen them play, what have you seen? I've seen, I seen the bad boys. That's, they they are tough. Um, uh, the coach over there. What's his coach name? What's the coach name? A man from Toronto. I'm drawing a blank right now. They'll come back to me. The, he got them playing. Mm-hmm. They they and and you know you somebody see. I don't just look at the, all the flashy stuff as far as the standings and your record and all that because it's a long grueling season. And if they can and they've been having injuries, if they can stay healthy. I'm telling you, I believe that they're going to make a push to be into that playoff run, especially with, with this year they're going to have to play in. Yeah, yeah. And, and they can even probably jump up to a, maybe a sixth spot because if you look at the, in that league, it's a lot of them quote-unquote elite teams. Yeah. They're dropping. I'm not going to call out any Playing names. 500 ball. Yeah. Because yeah. in Boston. the East, you can play 500 ball and be yeah. like a fifth seed right about now. Right. Yeah. Well, you can be a third or fourth seed. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Because yeah. uh, what is Boston? Boston is, what, maybe fourth seed? No, they have fifth seed. Fifth seed, okay. They 13 and 13. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there yeah. it is. And we, listen, we, we watch the games. And I, I know it's not intriguing to most people out there, Detroit Pistons, because, you know, they don't get a lot of uh, fanfare, I would say, nationwide. But when you watch them play, the elite teams that they play, they give them a hard time. Mm-hmm. I've watched them play... <laughs> The Lakers, they gave them a problem. A problem? I seen <laughs> I seen them. This that kid Stewart. What's his name? Isaiah Stewart. Isaiah Stewart. I saw him punk. Trez Harrell mm-hmm. and LeBron. Straight punked them. To the point to where when the when the Lakers came back to play him, they made sure they had AD with them because they didn't have one with them in that first game. They and they the second game. They was too. physical. Mm-hmm. They got up in their chest. They rebound. I like I like what they have there. When Blake is playing, yeah. it's, you never know when he's playing, but I, it's not the same Blake Griffin. Nah, he, he's more playing within himself. He, he, the game has slowed down for him. It's not all that jumping and jumping out of the gym. That's why he stay hurt all the time. Yeah. You know, with his, with his legs. Because all that jumping, no. And after a while, the way he was dunking on people, they started banging him up, and that's yeah. how he would get hurt. And that's now... Right. He's more. He, he's not a power forward at all. He's, he's playing more of a, a point, small forward. Like a hi- hybrid, yeah. Yeah, and, and he's he's doing a great job of it. Yeah. And and, and that young kid, Sadiq Bay. Yeah. Sadiq Bay. He's he's nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like they, I think they have they have a solid team. Now listen, take a walk with us, dream teamers. We're not saying they're winning the championship. No. But as fans of the game, we actually watch the games, right. and when you watch them play, it's it's quality basketball. They play hard. You see, like, someone like Jeremy Grant flourishing. I think he's averaging about 23 points. Yeah. Dwayne Casey, mm-hmm. head coach name. Yeah. He got them balling. Um, you mentioned Blake Griffin. Um, they're just a solid team. Was Jaron Jackson? Is that his? The Jackson kid. Um, it is uh, Jaron Jackson. Josh. Josh Jackson. Jaron Jackson yeah. is in, in Memphis. Right. Josh Jackson. He, mm-hmm. he played quite a, uh, some good games this year. And now yeah. there was a trade they just made. They just got rid of Derrick Rose. Right, mm-hmm. which he, to me, he wasn't playing like he played last year for them this year, yeah. and so uh, so obviously because he didn't want to be there, he, he asked for a trade to a contender, and that trade where they ended up getting Smith for him, Dennis Smith, Leo, yeah, Dennis, I believe it's gonna bring some life because Dennis Smith, although he's been relegated to the bench in New York, to me, I don't think he's that bad of a player where he can't play at all. You know what it is? And, and I think this happens a lot with a lot of players coming yeah. in the league. Because he, in high school, he was the man. 
in that NC State. Right. He was considered, you know, he he was supposed to be like an All Star caliber player. Expectations were too high. Year. Yeah. He a, no, he had a great rookie no, year. He did. And they put him on a pedestal that I don't think he was ready for. Yeah. And Luca came in the league and right. and, and, and things. Yeah. And he didn't. He didn't. You know. We don't know if he was ready mentally for that. Right. Yeah. First time in his life, probably, like, I'm not the best player in that position. And I think he's been trying to get to be the best player mm. instead of just being a player but on the team. Another thing with him, at one point, he wasn't that good of a player. Well, I'm not going to say that. He relied too much on his athleticism. Yeah. He was just a dunker. Right. I think with them, he, he'll play a little bit better. Right. I think he's a baller. I'm not saying he's an all-star or anything like that, but... Like you said, the way they tried to write him off, is, I know he's better than a lot of guards in this in this league. They just shouldn't. All I, all, all I understand is this. To me, watching the game, seeing how close they are right now to a playoff spot, mm -hmm. I just don't think that anybody should be counting Detroit out. No. Nah. You're right. Mm. You're right. Yeah. And they play good basketball, like we stated. So they're going to be in every game because they don't quit. They beat all the all the top contenders. Came the Brooklyn came in there and thought they was you know, walked out of there with an L. The Lakers came in there like they oh, we're the champions. Walked out of there with an L. Uh, Who did they just beat last? Who was that? Boston. They beat Bo yeah, yeah yeah yeah. They beat Boston. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Bay had thirty points in that game. Mm. You know they, they didn't they didn't jumped on a couple of elite teams yeah. because see Jeremy Grant is very underrated at. at and, and Denver, they the little struggles that they have had, mm -hmm. it's the miss, they're missing Jeremy Grant. Yeah. When it's time to get down on some of them wings and lock down defense, that's Jeremy Grant. But he's scoring now also. Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, before we get out of here, this, this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Could you imagine if Christian Wood was still there? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. That would have been nice. It would have been nice, right? It would have right? been real nice. For real, man. But um, Detroit Pistons, y'all playing great ball out there. Shout out to all the fans out there of Detroit. Um, right in there. Keep playing ball. Uh, Mason Plumlee. He had a triple-double triple the other night. Good ball. Yeah. Shout out to Dwayne Casey. A lot of people wrote him off, man, after. Because it's kind of different when you leave a team and they win the chip the next season. Right. But, you know, they started off this season with a rocky start. And so and immediately... You know, out of out of mind, mm -hmm. they fell out of people's minds immediately. Yeah, because they struggled early. But people don't realize they're still right there no in the hunt to make a playoff run, and I think they're gonna do it. No Barring no injuries and no major setbacks, again, it's another team that you gotta watch out for. And um, I wouldn't. You know, the way they're playing right now, and I'm watching that chemistry come together, and how hard and physical they play. With wing defenders, I would not want to see a team like that in the first round. No. So this season is going to be so great because you got a team like Detroit, and if and if what I'm seeing, if they can bring get that pull out together and get into the playoffs, right? And to that, not just the playoffs, but the play in, mm -hmm. the play in is going to be dangerous in the East. It, and 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 facing a team like Detroit, I don't know because you you lose no matter what because they're physical. Yeah. And if you do make it through them, you're going to be banged up. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. So that says it all, man. Detroit Pistons, y'all keep it up, man. Uh, this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about the Detroit Pistons. Once again, we're not saying that they're going to win the NBA championship. Hmm. But it's fun as a, a, a fan of the league to, you know, go down the league pass and see a, team a quality gonna, game. A, a team that's going to come out and compete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Even if they if they down, they don't give up. They just keep playing hard. I like that. No doubt. So hit that notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content, Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big young Alan Tima. Y'all be good. We out of here.